Well, Mizoram has joined the club of several other states where elected representatives, including the chief minister, ministers and MLAs have taken a cut in their salaries so as to donate the amount to state's COVID fund. Editor-in-Chief Wazbir Hussain spoke to Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga earlier in the day. So I'll take a look at this exclusive conversation. Uh, I am now joined by Mizoram Chief Minister Poo Joram Thanga. Poo Joram Thanga, welcome to Northeast Live. Is it true that you and your ministers and MLAs have taken a salary cut to donate the amount in the battle, in the fight against COVID? I think uh, this is a great initiative of battling the virus right from the front. Well, uh, almost true. I, I have donated 60% of my uh, salary to the COVID fund. We call it Chief Minister Relief Fund. And then all my cabinet ministers, together with the speaker, deputy speaker, and the government chief, we, they contributed 50%, five zero. And all the MLS contributed 30%. And it's a very important, and where the people everywhere, apart from the minister, chief ministers and MLA, the people, the association, the church, and even different people, uh, they have contributed for the COVID fund. Not only that, even the farmers, they contributed their agriculture product and horticulture product as well. Right, I think uh, that is an example there for all the Northeast eastern states to actually replicate. Uh, Pujuram Thanga, Mizoram is a COVID-free state. Uh, you know, but how prepared are you? I'm sure you cannot lower your guard. Yes, it is. Because we have an international border of a very long, long international border of Myanmar and Bangladesh, apart from the Indian side. Right. Wherein there are a lot of COVID patients. Therefore, we are all guarding ourselves along this. Otherwise, like Tripura, which has been a COVID-free, all of a sudden it flare up and it goes in 100. The same thing can happen to us. Therefore, people are very alert and people are very uh, sensitive about this. So most of the duty in the uh, bordering areas comprise of the apart from the uh, BSF and the sun rifle and the police, thousands yeah. of the local people and volunteers are doing their duty day and night for more than the whole month. Therefore, we are the most regimented and disciplined people, I believe, here in the whole of India. Now, uh, Mr. Joram Thanga, you know, hundreds of uh, people from Mizoram are now returning home. My question is, how big is this a challenge for your government? Well, that's the greatest challenge that Mizoram is having. And at the same time, that's the greatest challenge that every state in India is facing. Here, uh, I do not know exactly the number, but thousands. Uh, last time, almost a thousand came from Tamil Nadu. And another group in hundreds, they right. are entering and another group in thousands will be entering soon. So we have to do the quarantine system. But in order to accommodate maybe more than 10,000 uh, migrants, or rather the returnees, we have to have a very good uh, quarantine facilities. Here we are utilizing all available quarantine facilities, apart from the hotels, apart from different institutions, right and apart from the schools, etc., Even the church, they are permitting us to utilize the church to be used as the quarantine facilities. This is very convenient because in every village, even here in the town, in the city of Aizol, more than a hundred uh, churches are there, well equipped. So if we are to uh, utilize the facilities this as a a quarantine place. It would be very convenient. Right. And all the people are 
are working together in order to fight against this COVID. Okay, Mr. Jerome Thanga, thank you very much indeed for speaking to Notice Live. Well, we was, that was Mizoram Chief Minister, Mr. Jerome Thanga, talking about his decision as well as that of his ministers and MLAs in taking a salary cut and donating the same amount for the fight against COVID and donating the amount in the state's COVID fund and saying there that the state is not going to lower its guards against COVID, although the state is, has no... COVID positive patient as of now after one person who was tested positive is completely cured and of course he said that the biggest challenge to his government is the hundreds of people from Mizoram who are returning home so there is no scope for complacency there.